everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm also good. Still two person, two people who come. Yeah, yeah, this tonight. But Martija, let me absence you. Okay, okay. Yeah. It should. Yeah, they must. <laughs> okay. Mbak Martija and Mbak Yunita Sari. Okay. So, because uh, we have a lot of uh, things that we will discuss. Ya, Mbak Yunita Sari. Good evening. How are you today, Mbak Yunita? I hope everything is going well. What time you finish uh, from working? Mm -hmm. But yes. Um, usually, I will finish everything, all my work at uh, eight p.m. Eight p.m. Wow, yeah. that but fast. I have one hour before class to uh, maybe prepare my computer. Uh huh. Uh -huh. uh, she didn't want to sleep earlier, oh. so I just yeah I just sent her sent him to his room just now. But today he watch TV too much. <laughs> udah langsung tidur ya <laughs> jadi kalau ditinggal begitu aja mbak nggak nggak apa nggak apa apa takutnya jatuh maksudnya aku oh. kan tanggung jawab penuh untuk dia takutnya kemarin sempat sekali biasa nurut jam 8 masukin ke kamar diem kemarin pas kan ada bos di rumah, uh -huh. iya. dia nggak nurut terus si bilang ya udah aku ke atas dulu nyiapin uh, nyiapin peralatan mau sekolah terus iya. nanti setengah sembilan turun ya bawa kamu tidur dia bilang oke okay. terus eh baru sepuluh menit aku naik ke kamar uh -huh. ada suara bong waduh <laughs> tahunnya dia pas aku naik ke atas uh -huh. langsung masuk ke kamar udah gitu bosku juga nggak nganterin dia cuekin aja dia pikir kan bisa lah biasa juga bisa jalan sendiri oh ya, biasanya aku antar terus ke kamar biar dia ada yang ngelimutin ada yang nyiapin semuanya tapi pas malam itu dia nggak dengar dengaran udah gitu ya yeah. baru aku naik 10 menit bau ada suara langsung saya lari turun jatuh dia untungnya sih nggak parah cuma ya kebentur dikit sih kepala oh my god ya at least at least dia nggak luka lah cuma Huh? Uh, next time, I will make sure Must be, yeah. I sleep, yeah I everything. Yeah. Everything is prepared before you uh, start your class, right? Yeah, because yeah. Uh, my work, my job, so I, I should be there. So I should wait for him before go to sleep. I see. <laughs> because of that, okay, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't need to like just just uh, answer based on uh, your what you remember. Okay. Yeah. Oh, some yeah, some students already come, but Elfie, 
There is Mbak Evi, Mbak Rahmawati, Mbak Sofika, Mbak Wiwit. Oke, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. Oke, okay. I think we can start our lesson now. Before that, uh, we will review our last uh, week uh, lesson. It's about translate. Uh, it's about translating in Indonesian text to English text uh, in the field of agriculture. Yeah, the most difficult. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then number one. Uh, what are the characteristics of Indonesian language? Based on what you know, this is in complete structure. Tema. What? Hold on. Maybe like in English, we 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 have a sentence like subject, predicate, object, or. Sometimes language use in composition or structure like that. Oh yes. Uh, other not uh, all, not all, but incomplete grammatical structure. What do you mean by that? Can you explain more? Grammatical structure, complete gram grammatical structure is like the subject. We should. Have a subject in the sentence, mm -hmm. a verb, or verb, predicate, object, something like that. And that I verb, think. yeah. Yeah, but in Indonesian language, sometimes they they what? They, uh, they don't have uh, a, 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 a complete <laughs> complete uh, com sentence. sentence. Yeah, that's right. So, as uh, Mbak Martija already explained, um, Indonesian language typically is uh, has incomplete sentence. Normally, a complete sentence will have subject, predicate, object, and adverb or complement. But sometimes sentence in Indonesian language uh, started by using uh, by starting by using uh, verb directly without subject okay so in when we translate to English we must provide the subject and also uh, typical uh, text in Indonesian language is haya has a long sentence so we need to make it short as as short as possible when we translate to English okay and next question we how how do you translate uh, the word sebaliknya the conjunction last time we discussed a text about so let me see Sebaliknya, how do you translate the word sebaliknya? As a conjunction. Oh, as conjunction. Yeah. Yo, jangan lupa mbak. Nanti kalau misalnya keluar di ujian ya kan, nggak <laughs> bisa lihat kamus lagi. Nah, nah mesti diingat. <laughs> Oke, 
Yes. Ayo apa? Ya, kita bisa terjemahkan sebaliknya dengan Mbak Yunita Sari. Ayo, apa artinya Mbak Yunita? Kata sebaliknya. Ya, yeah, other student can answer through message if you cannot use your microphone. Nobody, nobody can answer. You can open your dictionary. Kalau oh, dictionary sih, vice apa, vice versa, gitu ya. Or. Apa sih ya? Ayo apa? aku salah review sih tadi aku liatnya review yang tanggal bukan yang tanggal sepuluh <laughs> ayo apa otherwise otherwise bisa atau selain itu otherwise Otherwise juga bisa tergantung kalimatnya. On how about on the other hand? On the other side. On the other hand. On the other side. Yes. Ya. Jadi kita bisa terjemahkan otherwise. Vice versa itu enggak cocok untuk di jadi diletakkan sebagai conjunction. Iya. Yeah, yeah. Tapi kalau on the other on the other hand Otherwise itu juga menyatakan uh, on the contrary menyatakan kalimat yang bertentangan dengan kalimat sebelumnya. Oke? Okay? Please take a note of this <laughs> and keep in mind. <laughs> Next, how do you translate meskipun demikian? In spite of what else? Yeah, we can translate to in spite of if it's followed by noun. Another one? Another else? Sorry? Therefore, therefore means uh, maka dengan itu. Jadi, ya, yeah. jadi kata Therefore itu terjemahkan jadi jadi dari kata jadi maka nevertheless ya yeah, nevertheless oke okay. and then the register the the word berat kata berat ini kalau di dalam kalimat uh, berikut sebaliknya kera kuda membebankan seluruh berat pada bahu kuda kalau kata berat literally we translate into uh, heavy right yeah. tapi itu sebagai adjektif kan iya yeah. bagaimana kalau fungsinya sebagai noun bentuknya sebagai noun sebagai kata benda how do you how do you translate it reverse weight it is it, it reverse to the human body or or something uh, or a thing atau benda iya Mbak Yunita Sari baru menjawab load ya refer to the word of membebankan jadi bisa kita uh, alihkan kata beban ini menjadi bentuknya bentuk ya 
bentuk uh, kata benda. Dia saling berkaitan, ban sama berat di sini. Oke? Okay? And then, how do you translate gotong royong? We already discussed this before. Ingat uh, konteksnya gotong royong kalau di budaya Indonesia itu bentuknya seperti apa? Bentuk aktivitasnya seperti apa? Saling membantu. Bantunya satu orang, dua orang, tiga orang, atau berapa orang? How do you, uh, how do you say that? A lot of people. Who has, who have a, a, the same purpose? Berkumpul bersama-sama, gather together to do something similar. How do you say that? Kom, komu, unitas. Iya. Mutual cooperation kata mbak unitas hari. <laughs> Itu literally benar. Kalau diterjemahkan secara harfiah benar. Tapi kalau mutual cooperation itu tidak kurang tepat. Iya, ya, kurang tepat dia. Iya, kurang tepat dia. Jadi, balik lagi ke konteksnya tadi. Uh, gotong royong itu kegiatan tolong-menolong yang dilakukan oleh sebuah komunitas. Nah, Based on context, bagaimana kita menyusunnya jadi satu uh, satu kata benda di dalam bahasa Inggris? Based on context. How do you say that? How do you translate it? Based on context. Oh, volunteer? Oke. Okay. Volunteer. Tetapi volunteer itu dia belum tentu uh, how, how to say that? Uh, dia belum belum bisa mewakili istilah gotong royong. Sukarela. salah satu kegiatan yang sukarela menolong orang tapi belum tentu itu dalam satu komunitas ya kan misalnya kegiatan uh, membantu korban bencana alam ya kan gotong royong itu lebih kepada kayak komunitas yang bukan menolong orang yang uh, menolong, menolong orang yang kesusahan tapi Misalnya di desa gitu kan, iya saling bersih bersih itu kebutuhannya kebutuhan bersama gitu. Kalau volunteer belum tentu kebutuhan yang 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 membantu itu memiliki uh, kebutuhan yang sama dengan orang yang dibantu gitu. Kalau community self help, help. Yes, that's right. So we can translate translate it into Community self help, ya. Yeah. Community self help. Oke, okay. who said who uh, answer correctly? Evi Miss. By Evi. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Good job. And then we move to next question. How do you translate hal ini yang nampaknya tidak terlalu yang nampaknya kata nampaknya kemarin nampaknya itu kayaknya aduh uh, ada lo kan ada lo how do you jadi hilang sudah 